Wait, we wouldn't go closer there. <laughs> Is it broken? Uh uh. I was wondering where you've been sneaking off to lately. Noah. So you've been going to the surface to see that meteora, huh? You did this. Did you forget about the curfew? The urban management <laughs> arc is gonna get you. Curfew. This is, yeah, this is just Corona. You know, you'll be punished if you get caught. <laughs> I won't get caught as long as you don't say anything. You eventually will. Why would you sneak out to see a monster who looks like your dead friend? Stop being stuck in the past, Chloe. That's a meteora. It doesn't deserve your sympathy. I'm gonna be a show. I know that. It's not like I'm getting sent to- Then why are you sneaking out to the surface? Why disobey your orders to go see that meteora? You see Coco in that monster. You're using that meteora to look into the past. Open your eyes, Chloe. Was your friend really a monster like that? It's interesting because now I a positive kind of character as she helps with people, emotions and stuff, but now she's kind of like, not herself for some reason. Mm -hmm. You should be looking at the present. Now, take me with you. No, you'll distract me. Besides, you can't project yourself with all that signal noise. It's hard. Not impossible. Just take me. That giant could wake up at any minute. It's interesting because Noah is uh, designed by the design of Coco, so what would happen if they both at the same time though? It'll step on you like a bug. So I'll protect you. Uh, yeah? How can you protect me when you don't have a real body? I can fight if I mobilize a fleet of Argos drones. Oh. Besides, I can't let you go alone. And since I don't have an actual body, I can't get stomped on. <laughs> See? I'm invincible. I don't need to back down against a stupid giant. <sighs> don't get in my way. That's my condition. When have I ever gotten in your way? <laughs> you know. You're doing it right now. I'm an arc meant to be there for people. <laughs> I'm always by your side. Sneaky bitch. I'll keep you out of trouble. <laughs> okay. <gasps> the meteora with Coco's appearance hasn't changed since it fell to the surface. I wonder how long it was since then. What are you waiting for? Looking at it again, there's nothing more disgusting. Oh. <laughs> A wolf in sheep's clothing. We're not much different. I'm a designed human, modeled after true humans. You're a humanoid arc with a human form. That's true. No, Chloe. We're not like that thing. We think with people. We live among them. We're nothing like the meteoras that threaten mankind. An enemy that threatens mankind. That's an enemy. Even if it looks like Coco. No, because it looks like Coco. That makes it more dangerous than other meteoras. That's why I'm worried. I know that it looking like Coco is hurting you the most. Hmm. So just call me if anything happens. On the surface or underground, if you're in danger, you can rely on me, Chloe. Okay. Okay. Come on, with feeling. Promise me, okay? <laughs> okay. Sure. I promise. I'm sure Noah is right to fear that humanoid. It's a meteora, not Coco. But there's no mistake that it came from her. It would be simple if it didn't look like that. I can't help but think if Coco's thoughts are driving its actions, if Coco is waiting for me, I... Huh. So many Argos drones. Ah, oh, they're like scanning her stuff. Hmm. Huh. You think we're gonna be okay? I've never seen anything like that before. No, Prometheus can't be trusted anymore. We need to wait for Patroclus' info. Wait, 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 Patroclus? Is this a different organization? Hey, there's an update. Wow, is this real? They don't know when it could start moving again, right? Are we even safe here? Um, how? 
I thought the information was being restricted. All right. Dismantle? I finally found a way! A way to take a sample of the disappearing meteora cells! I thought we weren't supposed to go near it. How are we getting <laughs> research done? She probably ignored the orders. Not even the council can stop her. Shocking. I happened to convince them. The council agreed to dismantle it. That it was something that should be dismantled right away. Dismantle? I thought we were going to try and communicate with it. At first, but after I ignored the council and studied it, I found a way to extract the black object. Oh yeah, there's something black there, okay. The Meteora's core. Oh, okay. It's the energy source that powers its massive frame. I'm guessing the core is similar to the Machia's power source, the metallic object. Mm. If we can extract and use it or figure out how it works, it would be a huge discovery for the city and propel a new generation of Machia tech. Do not be startled, my mediocre friends. <laughs> In a first step to extract the black object, this genius scientist has finally succeeded in extracting Meteora cells! Applause! <laughs> so... What? You did what? Which means you were able to stop the separated cells from disintegrating. No, we couldn't stop it from disintegrating. But we learned how to control the time it took to disintegrate. Huh. The disintegration goes from the outside to the inside. What does it mean? In other words, the larger the extracted sample, oh, okay. the longer it takes to disintegrate. Simply put, it takes longer for the whole arm to disintegrate than a finger. Okay, I didn't need that kind of explanation. <laughs> and I am able to extend that time to its very limit. So you're taking the whole body. <laughs> what? How? That's a trade secret. It's not like you'd understand it if I explained it to you. Maybe if you study another hundred years. I'd have to become a cyborg too then. Eh, it'll be faster to show you than tell you anyway. Look, this is a sample I extracted from the humanoid. Ta-da! Okay. Wow, you really were able to extract it. This size will hold for about 12 hours, but only if it's in this room. It kind of looks like ice. Does it melt if you take it out from there? I see. Take a large sized sample and you can delay its disintegration. Yes, that's how it works, Elba. That is why you need it transported to the middle level. We'll probably need to use the Machias to dismantle it. So, get to work. In other words, you want us to kill it, right? Well, <laughs> well, Killing meteoras is what we're about. Right, Chloe? Wait. Uh, I mean... Um... Huh? What's wrong, Chloe? Mm. <sighs> what is it? What's with the sour face? You want to say something? You have a problem? Don't tell me you think we shouldn't dismantle it. Speak mind, of course. You said we couldn't kill it because Coco might be inside, remember? What's that? I, I was just talking about the possibility! <laughs> if we cut it open, we might find the actual sized Coco inside. We don't know that. Right. Hmm? You're being awfully rebellious! <laughs> Chloe, I understand how you feel. I know you don't want to kill it because it looks like Coco, but that's not Coco. You don't know shit, Elba. Okay, thank you. I know, but Coco sang to that meteora. She tried to talk to it. You've got to have a few screws loose if you think you can talk to something like that. Shut the fuck up. She decided to get near it, and it got her killed. Yamato, you're being insensitive. Yes. But it's and true. a little bitch. <laughs> That's why Chloe hates the meteoras too. Am I wrong? I hate them, of course. But I've been thinking this whole time. Why did Coco go out to the surface? Why alone when she was blind with poor legs? Maybe Coco didn't wish to die. Huh? 
Of course not. Why would she want to? I want to believe that too. That it wasn't her wish to be killed or eaten by the Meteora. I keep asking myself that. And I hate the Meteora for taking her life away. But why then? Why does the Meteora that looks like Coco when she died seem so at peace? If that Meteora has inherited Coco's thoughts, if there's a reason it came back, then it's probably to see me. No! The reason that humanoid isn't moving is simply to regenerate. I mean, that's fair as well. It's not doing anything for your sake. Oh. I mean, you went against your orders and went to the surface to see it, and it didn't even try to move. <laughs> How did you know that? Chloe, you ignored orders and went out to the surface? Are you okay? You don't actually think that's Coco, right? She might. Or maybe she went crazy from these sweet scented flowers. <laughs> that's not. Even if that humanoid originated from Coco, that's the meteora that absorbed her. An enemy that threatens humanity. And the information we can harvest from an enemy on the surface is bountiful indeed. What we learn can change the way we fight meteoras forever. It could even change human existence. I mean, that's a meteora that absorbed human. We've got that treasure right in front of us. How could I not tear it apart and study it? <gasps> I have no argument against Julie, mm. but I still. Yeah. Excuse me. Hmm. Wait, Chloe! Come on, wait! What do you want? What are you doing here? Stopping you, that's what. You're planning on going to the surface again, right? <laughs> you can't stop shit. Um. What's gotten into you? You're acting weird. That meteor is bad news, you know? It's none of your concern. It is my concern. You look really pale. <laughs> I just can't sit here and do nothing. But you will. Professor Julie is right. I think you've gone crazy because of that meteora. The... don't... <laughs> That's the only reason why you ever say Coco's death was a suicide. Tell me something. Does that thing look like Coco to you, Chloe? Yeah. I don't know, but when I look at it, it reminds me of something I talked to Coco about. Coco was going to die, even if she wasn't eaten by the Meteora. Huh? What do you mean? Do you know why Coco lost her sight? Why she couldn't walk <sighs> Right, anymore? we didn't know, actually. That was the disease she had, right? But she was getting treatment, and eventually... There was no cure. Her symptoms got worse. Towards the end, her memory- Seriously? Shit, sorry. Coco told me she was going to die soon. That's why she- She asked me to kill her. Okay, so that was the reason why she killed her, because she didn't want to be consumed by the disease. I think that's the explanation. How could you do that? You and Coco were friends. Uh, so they didn't know who did it, okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. We shot her, and then she was eaten by the meteora? <laughs> How that works? No, I couldn't. That's why I refused. Oh, okay. Coco went to the surface soon after that. <sighs> I couldn't give Coco the death she wanted, so instead of me, Coco... Went to get herself eaten? But that wasn't to die. Maybe she decided to abandon her broken body. And live on inside the Meteora. I couldn't save her. So maybe that's why Coco sought salvation in the Meteora instead. You really are crazy. There's no way that thing is Coco. It might look human, but it's not. Then I'm not either. I look human, but I'm not. Don't say that. That's sad. No, it's not sad. I'm a designed human. That is an unavoidable fact. Mm -hmm. Even still, Coco accepted me as a designed human. So, you can cry. You can feel lonely and vulnerable. I don't care what people say. 
It doesn't change the fact that you're my precious Chloe. You can't understand. Not when you see us design humans as sad beings. <laughs> she may look different, but that is Coco. If Coco's memories and thoughts are inside that thing, then that's the Coco I wasn't able to save two years ago. Ah. Coco protected me. She gave me a place I belonged. That's why I have to protect Coco's will. Until the end this time. I have to be by her side. Wait, Chloe! Wow. I can't let them take it apart. But how do I stop them? How can I convince Julie? The humanoid is only staying there to regenerate itself. How much longer until it's finished regenerating? Julie will probably start dismantling it as soon as she's ready. There's no time. Yeah, she will hurry the fuck up for sure. Let me be clear! That is the enemy threatening our existence! It is directly above our city! What is happening? Not only did Prometheus hide this fact, it's trying to bring that monster here! Meteorites eat people! They will eat your family! I personally know someone who is eaten. Don't be fooled! Its beauty is a deception! That is a Meteora! A monster in human form! I think I saw this mask before. It was like on the wall. Drive it out! This is our city! What is Prometheus doing? Hurry up and dismantle it already! They're planning on moving the Meteora to the middle level. That's right above the city! Right. They have the Machias, right? Why aren't they killing it when they have the means to? I heard they're lying about dismantling it. They're planning to carry it down here alive. That's why they're not killing it. Because they're trying to trick us. The city is unifying in the face of a giant threat. What can I do by making enemies out of all of them? <gasps> General Dieter, what are you doing here? I showed myself in since it was an emergency. There are too many in the lab to speak in secret, and the lines may be tapped. Mm -hmm. And Noah, that Ark, won't be able to come near the sun room. <laughs> <laughs> this is an unofficial visit. Make yourself at ease. Is this about the dismantling? Indeed. However, that's not the only issue. What do you mean? Huh? Why does a flower? flower? I do not hate plants. This brings back memories. I used to play the piano when I was a cadet, sitting in a meadow created with textures. Do you know what butterflies are? They're insects with beautifully patterned wings. <laughs> I've seen pictures in Coco's books. I've seen them in videos. They are quite beautiful when they fly. Their wings fluttered elegantly. Yet to see those wings wounded and then fall to the ground was nothing short of tragic. Ants would emerge from underground and surround the fallen butterfly. It's an interesting reference. Then they'd rip apart its wings, mm. legs and antenna. Hmm. Terrible, barbaric. Yet the ants could not have had the capacity to recognize its beauty. Professor Julie laughed when I told her that. She said that <laughs> they want to eat it precisely because they sense its beauty. <laughs> nice. How like her to think that, given her fascination with the artificial. The professor and I have butted against each other much over the years, but I trust her. I thought we shared a passion for the Meteoras, but she's made a foolish decision. How could she want to dismantle such an awe-inspiring specimen and carry it underground? It is the height of folly and arrogance. I am absolutely disgusted. <laughs> Just like the ants and the butterfly, don't you think? I guess, yeah. Mm. That Meteora will be killed if it stays where it is. But I don't know what I can do to get it to escape. There's nothing I can do. No, there's something you can do. The dismantling will be done using the Machias. I'll be giving deployment orders to you. Oh, okay. In other words, Lieutenant, you'll be able to protect the Meteora from nearby. <gasps> Are you asking me to interfere with the dismantling? I can't. 
Noah is in the cockpit with me. She'll suspect something if I do anything strange. Noah will protect us. That's what she wants to do. And uh, I don't I know. I let her on. You'll pilot the Machia alone. Oh, alone. It will naturally take a physical toll on you, but right. once shouldn't kill you. I can handle it for a short while, but would Noah really allow that? I don't think so. Actually, the other Machia, Ares, is going to be more of a problem. Yeah. They'll need the Ares Machia sword for the dismantling, so I can't stop its deployment, which means that you're the only one who can stop it. You want me to attack the Ares? It can be an innocent accident. We just need to delay matters at hand. <laughs> what? It's a desperate measure. I thought about tampering with the Ares system, but I didn't have the time. The resistance has been responding to the public outcry in an alarming way. Yeah, what is this about? Chloe, you're in your room right now. I need you to stay calm. Something's happened. Jesus. What is it, Alba? Apparently someone infiltrated a quantum computer used for Noah and destroyed it. Wait, so Noah is dead? Destroyed it? The quantum drive wasn't damaged, so Noah is okay. okay. But it'll take some time before she can be moved. Oh. Why would they attack Noah? The culprits were shot dead. We still don't know why they went after Noah. All we know is that they were with Patroclus. Okay, resistance. Patroclus made it to the middle level? They oppose the humanoid Meteora's dismantling. They're against Prometheus's decision to carry the Meteora underground. They might be planning something big to get in our way. Anyway. Professor Julie and the council have decided to move up the dismantling. Mm -hmm. The professor suggested we start tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's way too soon. You'll probably get your official deployment orders from General Dieter. Are you ready, Chloe? <laughs> yes. Thank you. You knew this happened to Noah, didn't you, General Dieter? I said it was an emergency. You'll be deployed tomorrow morning <laughs> to dismantle the Meteora. Okay. We don't have time to think. We have to stop tomorrow's dismantling from happening. We have to save the humanoid Meteora. It's interesting how the character of Dieter pretty much 180 in the one hour. Save the humanoid Meteora. By our own hands. You can handle this, can't you, Lieutenant? Is there a way to let that Meteora go? If I end up having to fight it after it wakes up. Yes. There's a way to let that Meteora go, even if it comes to battle. The Machia's energy conversion barrier has another function. Oh. While it normally functions by converting their waves into energy that reflects back to them. Yes. If you don't use the counter assistance while converting, and take the wave with your arm stretched out, you can scan for information. Scan for information? What kind of information? You'll see for yourself when you try it. The professor never mentioned anything like that to me before. Because Professor Julie doesn't want to use this function very much. She probably already thinks there's no need for us to hear the Meteora's songs. So they're actually singing then. Hmm. Hmm. After deploying with the Machia, I'll fake an accident to sabotage the dismantling. Yes. I might have to hurt Yamato if it comes down to that. Am I okay with that? Is there any other way? What should I do? Coco. Uh, 